Washington, 39, and Houston, excuse me, and Michigan State, 28. Wow. Of course I watched the ball game. You guys know what's up. Uh, this one was interesting, to say the least. Um, Washington, like I, I wagered on Washington in this game. I thought that Michigan State would not be able to slow down the pass. And when you look at the stats, uh, yeah, it, it certainly shows that way. Total yards, Washington had, you know, nearly 150 more yards. Uh, they had, you know, more than a yard and a half yards per play uh, advantage. Third downs, identical. Fourth down tries, Michigan State actually was more uh, successful on fourth down than they were. Washington had eight scoring opportunities. That is drives inside of the 40-yard line. They were awesome. Um Points per scoring opportunity, Michigan State obviously hit that because I think that, oh, no. Jeremy said ESPN's opted to go Tennessee, Florida. Oh, I wondered if they were going to have logistical problems. Regardless, uh, it, back to this game. Uh, so Michigan State had more points per scoring opportunity because they, they finished those drives down there. Washington had to kick a few field goals, and Washington hit big plates. So those did not count as, quote-unquote, scoring opportunities. Um Washington had points off turnover. They had better field position, you know, at their own 44 as opposed to Michigan State's own 20. They won the field position game, and it was awesome. Uh, looking at the numbers, Michael Penix, just 24 out of 40, 397 yards, four TDs, no picks. And then he ran the ball four times for four yards. So nothing negative here. How awesome is that? Uh, they didn't have to run the football much because Kalen DeBoer does not run the football much. Pretty awesome. I, I love it. Uh, all, all the stuff about this. What all did I write down? Oh, Washington scored touchdowns on four of their five first-half drives. The only one that they did not score a touchdown on, it actually led to a safety that got them the ball back. So that's how they ended up with 29 points in, that first, uh, in the first half. Um, the fourth and goal on the one that led to that safety, it just a, a weird call. Like, Penix absolutely got stuffed on that. Uh, Washington held Michigan State to 1.4 yards per rush. If if Michigan State cannot run the football and you have to bank on Peyton Thorne being able to win a game, like and, and don't get me wrong, it's not like he was bad in this game. It's just incredibly difficult for them to do because that's not what their offense is based on. Like just go and look at Mel Tucker and what he's trying to do here. 30 out of 42, 323 yards, three touchdowns, one pick. Like he uh, by the way, this how awesome was it to see Keon Coleman doing well? Obviously plays basketball. But nine receptions, 116 yards, and two touchdowns? I mean, he was great. He was great. Washington obviously still has things that they need to work on, but Michigan State was never really the 11th best team in the country, um, especially not going on the road at a team like Washington. Washington always had the pieces. They always had the pieces. But you had to have a coach in there that was competent. And Kalen Moore is competent. So... Good stuff all around uh, for Washington. I mean, they are they are pumped right now. And the Pac-12 certainly looks different today than it did. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.